This call update comes as a big shock to me because I really thought we're done with Ruins Megos for now, but the developers have more in store apparently and I'm very glad because it needs more content and being worked on for sure. I have some problems currently with accessing the DLC that I'm working on, so we'll do the wave-based game mode that is released alongside that. The other stuff we'll do easily in other video because I figured this whole patch is gonna be too big for just one clip. Maester's Abyss, the endless abyss that exists in Maester area. Chosen Maggie, Seekers of... Okay, so basically it's just a wave-based combat scenario. Okay... What is Mr. Abyss? A dungeon where you try to get a high score by defeating enemies as they approach. In this dungeon, magic and equipment you are randomly set at the beginning of each level. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna use my normal weaponry. However, you can select equipment to carry over from the previous level. Okay, so it's kinda like an arcade mode as well. Okay, I don't really care about the scoring, but I really like this. Like, this is much more complicated than most games do nowadays. So, it shows us the waves with the enemies. <laughs> it's not like I choose them. And I guess this is the stuff that I have. Yeah, okay. So Fire Blast, Thunder, Rookie, okay. We'll see. It's like you have to know the game beforehand to excel. Which is great, like it's a real test of your abilities. I might be a bit rusty in the beginning because I did not play a long time and I have a small shield, which I'm not used to. What about the items? Yeah, they are also custom. I'm not gonna score a lot today. I forgot about that. Oh, but the vignetting is still there. Okay. <laughs> Carry over. What I want is definitely Fire Blast. And that's all we can do, I guess. Okay. Standby phase. Improve equipment, provide items, request partner. I think equipment. Yeah, more attack. And request a partner, I guess to help with the bosses and stuff. Ah, 
Ah, we'll see. At least I can practice my repulse. I figured I would be good in them. But the game was too chaotic to survive. Okay, well that was definitely faster. <laughs> I need to calm down and read. For sure, Ray Smash, that's my skill. More attack is always good for me. I mean, eventually I'll get this large shield, so... Sure. So I still have... Oh, now I have Magic Shield. Grenade shot, oh yes. Ray smash. That's very good for me. I don't know what this shield does. <laughs> oh, that's damaged by me. I guess I can still repel with it. I mean, knowing my style, I have to always go with grenade shot. And we're moving with that and large shield, okay. But I can get only one anyway, so I'll always stick with the base weapon. Why do the cape matters? Did it ever? Like, I'm not sure. <laughs> but at this point, yeah, I guess. More recovery, I suppose. Like, now it doesn't really matter. Oh, he's burning.
Ow. What a surprise to see you here. I mean, it's just gonna keep going and going. I get what it is about. I keep my equipment, then it changes. It's very versatile, like you have to excel at everything moving forward for sure. I do like the complexity though, that you can summon some characters that you encountered already, then just request some other stuff. Where is he? Is he gonna appear here or something? I don't think I saw him. The patch stated it can be either someone from the story or random. I guess this is the closest to the samurai guy, I think. But overall, I get it. I don't know what I will place in the score, like... I could go more and more, but... 16... Is this on the list? Oh, okay. I can go definitely very high. Knowing my strategies and stuff, for sure I will be good in this mode, but... There are other stuff to do. 